Long ago, before the dawn of man, lived the ancient dragon race. Resting in comfort, knowing that they were the chosen ones. The demons let loose from the sky, the biggest threat of them all. An army of robots, but they made them way too small. Robots! Dragons! Your soul had better belong to the demons, cause your ass belongs to me. Actually, I gave my ass to the nice girl at the front desk. The fucking Sally? Alright, well, then your ass belongs to Sally. But your freedom and pride, I get that. All yours, for the duration of my 48-hour sentence. <laughs> yes. Hey, buddy. Whoa, you scared me. Sorry about that. So what are you in for? I started a demonstration against the war. I and... don't have any idea why I'm here. You know, it could be I forgot to take my trash to the curb and left I on the putting sidewalk. the pages folding over instead of putting them back. Also, I killed a man. Yeesh, holy shit. I know. I slightly damaged perfectly good books. Hey! Hey, new guy! It's me, Clam. I'm in the next cell over. You want to escape with us? I don't think so. We're getting out of here tonight. The old ball and chain and I. You see, I've hung this poster of Tina up for a reason. It's all part of my brilliant plan to distract the guards from the giant hole I dug right next to it. Yeah, well, I have a two-day sentence. I don't want to risk anything. You're going to get to know the inside of that cell. Good luck, fellas. Hopefully Smiley and I will see you on the other side. Oh, no, not me. I'm getting the chair at midnight. Damn, I didn't even know they still did that. Well, let that be a lesson to all of you. What they really mean is, no shirt, no shoes, the chair. And don't rape anyone! Yo, pal. Yeah? I escape all the time. It's the only way I can get the ingredients for my world-famous toilet booze. I need a bar soap, dead birds, tar, lots of tar. If you're out and you come back, why don't you just get real booze? I mean, it sounds like you could just find all those ingredients right here in prison. <laughs> yeah, right. Like I'm gonna find a sweaty old sock in prison. And trust me, I need that. Hey, boss. I can fix it. Get back, you ain't fixing nothing. Boss, let me fix it. Get your hands away from my crotch! I'm trying to help it. Damn it, I told you a million times it's my ankle! My ankle hurts! Those two, always fixing each other's genitals. So, how long have you been in here? Oh, well, who knows. They keep putting me in the chair and it keeps recharging me. I'll be honest, I feel great. Now I just gotta get my juice fix every time. And I keep thinking about it. Juice, 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 juice. That sweet juice. So what are you telling me? I love juice. Do you have any last words? Do I? Well, yes, I do. TV is so boring these days, especially in the early evening hours. Is every show in syndication? Sometimes I have to make up my own movie, so I went one time and made up a movie about two little girls in a field. Each one had a secret identity. Each one was also a villain. Couldn't find a good director for it, but I had two perfect girls, those famous twins, the Baldwins. Also, another movie I thought about was A Private Eye in England, and this private eye only talked with a British accent, so it was impossible for anyone to understand him. Interrupting cow. Okay, now you're supposed to say something. You gotta moo. Wait, did you say something? No, it doesn't work. Moo. Uh, were you just breathing? <laughs> yes.